So we're talking about the 10 categories of loopholes. And the loophole for today is the concern for others loophole. And this is when we're thinking about keeping a good habit and we grasp on the justification that we need to break our good habit out of concern for other people. And so here are some examples of how this might come up. Um, it will hurt my girlfriend's feelings if I get up early to write. I'm not buying this junk food for me, I'm keeping it around for the benefit of other people. Um, here's one where it came, uh, w when it came up with me. I was talking to a friend about eating cake and she said, well, I would never go to a friend's birthday party and not eat a piece of birthday cake. That just seems so rude to me. And I said, I don't think another adult would feel insulted or upset if I, as another adult, didn't eat a piece of their birthday cake. So to me, that seemed like the concern for others' loopholes. Um, people often don't want to seem holier than thou. Um, they worry that changing their schedule, say, is going to inconvenience other people. Now, it's absolutely true that we do need to think about the effect of our habits on other people. Our habits have a big effect on them. Their habits have a big effect on us. So you want to be considerate of other people. But at the same time that you want to be considerate of other people, you also want to make sure that you're not using a concern for others as a loophole that's an excuse to get out of a habit that you really do want to keep for yourself.